Finals is, is what's going to be talked about today with Boston and Detroit. Last night, the Boston Celtics won 89 to 81 to move on to the NBA Finals for the first time since the 80s. So once again, I'm going. So here I am. I'm going to say it now. Congratulations to Boston, the Big Three. They all stepped up last night. Boston outscored Detroit 29 to 13 in the fourth quarter. It was an amazing game for Paul Pierce. Comes out with 27 points, shoots 8 for 12, goes 10 of 13 from the free throw line, all in the second half. He attacked Detroit's defense, he got into the teeth of their, their D, and scored some really tough baskets on them. Goals also has 8 rebounds and also dishes out 3 assists. Kevin Garnett, 16 points and 6 rebounds. Those aren't like the most incredible numbers in the world, but guess what? He did a lot of his damage in the fourth quarter. He had some really clutch shots. He took advantage of those matchups when, when Detroit decided to double Paul Pierce off that screen and roll. Garnett took advantage of the guards and was able to score in the lane, and he did what he had to do. So all these people that have been writing articles on Kevin Garnett saying that he's not clutch, guess what? He is. He stepped up. He silenced all of you critics last night. And Ray Allen goes for 17 points, 6 rebounds. Knocks down three three-pointers. It's what he does best. He's a great shooter. Rajon Rondo chips in 11 points and three assists. That's good for, for a role player to step up in, this, in a clutch game. Now, for Detroit's backcourt, they, all, they played great. Chauncey Billups, 29, six rebounds, six assists. Rip Hamilton, 21 points, four assists. The backcourt played great. Now, as far as the frontcourt goes, whoo, boy, I don't know what to say. Rashi Wallace, two for 12, 0 for six from the three-point line. Four points, ten rebounds, and five fouls. Hmm, nice job to come in and step step up in game six of the Eastern Conference Finals on your own home court after running your mouth to the press at game five, running your little curse words. Yeah, good job, Rashid. Let's keep your mouth quiet, and let's stop getting technical fouls, and let's go play ball on a night to night basis. Maybe you'll get your team back to the NBA Finals. Dancing in a circle before the game to get hyped? Not great either. Start focusing next year. Tayshawn Prince, 10 points, goes 3 for 10. That's not a great performance either. Antonio McDice only has 6 points. The front court, they must get better for next season. Antonio McDice and Rasheed Wallace are aging. Tayshawn Prince is the youngest, in, the youngest in the starting lineup in the front court. But Amir Johnson has to get better. Jason Maxiel is obviously going to have to start stepping up. And that is where Detroit is going to have to improve. Now, no bench production for Detroit last night. Rodney Stuckey didn't have one of those great nights. Jason Maxiel didn't score in double figures, only had 7 points. This is also another importance that Detroit's going to have to do. Now, Flip Saunders was trusting Jarvis Hayes and Aaron Aflalo and all those other guys, but once the playoffs came, all of a sudden, these guys just stopped getting minutes. You just can't do that, Flip Saunders. I don't know, but Flip Saunders seems a little too relaxed for next season, and I'm not sure that you're going to be back. So, uh, Detroit, I wish you the best. Boston, once again, congratulations. Ubuntu, whatever that word is. Doc Rivers, you did a great job. The organization is back in the NBA Finals. I'm Jamel Crothers. Stay tuned for the NBA Finals preview with the Lakers and the Celtics.